Friday, according to my clock. So that will make this the Friday Doodle Diary. Hello, Doodle Bugs. It's Mary. I'm back. And I had a wonderful moment this afternoon that just solved all the problems. It solved all of my problems. It's going to solve all of your problems, whatever's happening in your life that's destroying everything. So you know when you go, when you're walking on the sidewalk and there's somebody really uncomfortably close behind you. They're following you. It sounds like they're following you, but they're not really following you. And then you have that feeling of needing to check and see who is this. And you want to look and see how far, because they sound like they're right behind you, but they might not be. And uh, it's very nerve wracking because you don't want to be rude. You don't want to just be like, what? what are you doing? But at the same time, every fiber of your being is saying you should look because you evolved from creatures that survived this long because they had the instinct and the knowledge to look and check and make sure that that wasn't a tiger or an enemy with a spear. So you're combating everything. And uh, yeah, I did that to somebody today. I was <laughs> I went for a walk. I was walking to Trader Joe's and I was following a guy and I had really clicky shoes on too that would made a very distinct clip, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. I was wearing my horseshoes and I could tell he was fighting that urge to check and we'd make it to turns and lights and he would just glance back and be like, she's still, she's still following me. I followed him for seven blocks. <laughs> it was so dumb. It wasn't even on like an obvious path that people would take. It was going down streets where there weren't really businesses or destinations. I, it was just bizarre. I was trying to figure out how are we both going the same way to Trader Joe's? <laughs> it was the best day of my life ever. The end. It's all over now. We can stop this charade. Um, I hope you've had a wonderful month <laughs> in which I've thought about making videos and then it would turn into, oh, it's Friday and it's really late and I've been working and editing all day and I'm sick of staring at my screen. I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow brought its own hurdles and blah, 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 blah. And this could be a whole video about me complaining about making stuff and things, which is a very, very privileged complaint. So I feel like I shouldn't complain because you know what? There's a lot of a lot of people who aren't doing something that they love and something that's as fun. And that's like this, it's this weird guilt thing. It's this very weird guilt thing. Like once you've, you've caught the rabbit, it's like, oh, now I have to kill you though. And I don't like this part of the job, but nobody told me there'd be a part of the job I didn't like. So it's all good. I love what I do, but I can't do it all the time. It's like if, if you eat cake every day, if you love cake and then you eat it every day, you're not gonna love it anymore. You need to take days off from eating cake. So that's been the big existential crisis of the summer. I've been working on a couple really exciting projects in the background, but in the foreground, it's always been the weekly videos. And it's it just felt like I've been struggling to keep up for a long time. So I'm considering, I'm considering on my main channel doing a hiatus month where I am not worried or focused about uploading every Monday and I can just hone in on bigger projects and on stockpiling my Monday projects and just in getting ahead, which is a scary thing because I'm kind of a workaholic and I've kind of been trained and told and you hear all the time when you make YouTube videos for a living, that it's the momentum, it's the consistency and not missing videos. So uh, at the same time though, I've seen you know people shift into doing things like seasons, like your favorite TV show, Game of Thrones. They're on break because it's physically impossible to be making that show on a regular basis constantly. You gotta take a, a break and a step back. And I don't think I need to convince other people as much as I need to convince myself but I feel like I need to convince myself that it's a thing that I should do. I say yes too much. I do, and then it just piles up. I need to say, no, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna get ahead of things and feel good about myself. So that's been the big crisis happening <laughs> leading up to the haircut. <laughs> I got a haircut and it 
falls under the category of a bad haircut because it's not what I wanted. And it looks nothing like the photo I showed her. I curled it today because, damn it, something needs to be fixed. And it's the same person who did it last time. I And it, that's a sign I'm not going back. Part of me wants to go back, though, and say, hey, like you didn't do this right. Can you fix this? But can you not be the ones to fix it? Can I bring in somebody from the outside to fix it? And then you just give the money I gave you to this competent person? <laughs> it's a bad sign when they finish cutting your hair and then you kind of make this face at your reflection when they reveal. They always have the reveal when your haircut's done. And when they see you go, that's their opportunity to say, oh, how can we fix this? So her solution was to ask me, hey, can you hold on a moment? And then she runs him back and gets some product and then just starts going like. Voila! I was like, nah, I'll just, uh, I'm going to go get a couple bottles of wine. I'm good. Bye. <laughs> uh, Dante knows what a disaster that was. So this is my official apology. That's the whole point of this video is an official apology to Dante for my behavior after getting a bad haircut. That's never happened to me before. I think it was just the volcano of all the terrible, stressful, wonderful things that aren't actually terrible building up deep down inside the soul. It's a thing. I think it's a relative thing. I think it, whether or not you're going into like a creative career or if you're a student and there's a lot of self-management skills, you kind of have to learn how to handle these things because there's no schedule that anybody's setting for me. And really in life, there's no schedule people are setting for you. I mean, there's a lot of jobs that, you know, when I worked my day jobs of like doggy daycare and catering, it's like, okay, yeah, somebody is there to tell you to show up and do this and do that and get out. Here's your money. But if you want to do things like art or YouTube or creative stuff, I, nobody really tells you that, hey, you got to figure it out on your own and you got to set the schedule yourself, which is kind of tricky. And I kind of feel bad then saying, well, I'm just going to give myself a month off which isn't really gonna be a month off because I'm still gonna be working through it, but it's gonna be a month of not uploading, which is scary to me. But at the same time, it's a very unique position where I can do that. And I think that's awesome to seize that. Like when you have an opportunity to like shift what your fate is for a certain amount of time, why not take it? Why not? Let's get crazy. Let's do it, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I am completely planning on shooting a video next week as well when I'm going down to San Diego for, you're at Comic-Con right now, some of y'alls who might be watching this, I'm going down the week after Comic-Con for wedding. It's a wedding. I'm going to call it Wedding Con or Love Con. I'm going to San Diego for Love Con, which is a wedding in San Diego just after Comic-Con. What costume character should I go as? <gasps> That's amazing. Yes, tell me, please. And, uh, but uh, above all, have a wonderful and healthy weekend. You beautiful butterflies. Beep, goodbye. Nom, 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 nom. Also, how do I, how should I fix this? I, it, okay, it's, it's curled. You don't understand. There's a weird long thing going on in the back. I might just transform this into a mullet. Mullet? Yay or nay? Leave a comment below. Bye-bye!